What up, YouTube? Mr. Random checking in, baby. Today's video, I'm going to show y'all how we unlock this here steering column lock when it's in a lock position. So what I'm going to do, I'm going um, I'm going to drill me a 1-8 hole. I watched a couple guys' videos. I'm going to drill it right in this here corner right here with a 1-8 bit. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use me a pick to be able to unlock it. I'm going to drill a hole and I'll show you all how we do it. Right now it's in a lock position. So I can't take this column um, ESL lock off until I be able to turn that gear and drill that hole. So I'm going to show you all how we get that done, guys. Stay tuned. Let's get it. All right, gang, so y'all see we got our hole drilled here. First, I'm gonna start by, I'm gonna remove this here 13 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna get him off for them. As y'all can see now, it is in a locked position. I can't push it forward and I can't Turn that steering column so I'm gonna go ahead on and use a pick tool and try to get him unlocked. See it. I'm gonna try to turn this here gear until it's unlocked. Y'all see that look? Look at that. It's almost there. I'm gonna turn it a little bit more. See that? So we removed our ESL. We was able to let's try to put them back on. Y'all see it? So now we have it in the unlocked position. Now I have to open it up and we're gonna replace that mold up in there. Put it back in the lock position and we're gonna try to unlock it with the ignition. Alright gang, so I found me a little tool I've been using. It's just a flathead screwdriver. It's a small one though. Real small enough to be able to go up in our pants. Y'all see, I removed two of them already. This this side is ready to come open. So I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna remove these other two pins. I'll show y'all how I do that. Don't give up, guys. Don't give up. Y'all see we got it? Yes, sir. Y'all see the motor looking all burnt. Y'all see the motor right there. So I'm gonna pull the motor off of there. You see that? Pull him right off. All right, guys. So this is our new motor right here. That's the part number, and we ordered it straight from eBay. And he's just gonna plug in, just like we took that old one out. Y'all see the connectors? You see how dirty this one is? So, so I got me some, some grease right here. This is our new one. This is our old one. Y'all see the difference. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grease my shaft up. Grease that gear up nice and good. Grease them up nice and good. I'm gonna put me some grease all up in here, guys. You don't wanna 
change anything once you do this. Like I say, I showed y'all how to unlock it in the lock position. I'm gonna plug him on my board. Plug him right onto my board. He's plugged in. Now I'm just gonna drop him right in place like we removed him. I'm gonna put my motor in place first. Okay, y'all see our motor? Nah, I'm gonna come with my board. Get that connector in started. I'm gonna plug him right in our spot. Y'all see that? Board set. I'm gonna come back with my screw. And we're gonna lock him down. And I kind of did a quick inspection of the board. I think he looks good. But that motor doesn't look too good. Lock the board down in place. Sorry, I don't have the proper tools, guys. But you just want to snug me, you don't want to crack the board. Next, you want to come with your cover. Just like you took them off. And that spring, it actually pushes against this here our lock. And that stud, it just goes up in that hole, guys. I'm actually, I'm gonna put a little grease up on him too. Our stud. Now let's close him up. Okay. We're right back together. Y'all see it now. Let's install our set screws back in there. And y'all see the smooth side that we didn't spray it. And y'all see the side that we did spray it. Get those back inside it. I'll start these other two. one that we have I'm just gonna take the same bit and put it down in place he shouldn't go anywhere nice nice and tight we still unlocked because we did turn our gear y'all see it's unlocked guys you gotta kind of hit it like right in the middle. You see that? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn him back. I'm gonna lock him to the lock position and then we'll insert it in our car and make sure that it does unlock. And then I'll try to unlock it with the key. Once I unlock it with the key, I'll be able to put it and set everything up on our steering shaft. So when we unlocked it, I turned it to the right, so I'm going to turn it to the left so I can lock it back. All right, so it looks like we're in our lock position. It's not going down. And as you can see, the steering lock is out as well. He's solid, y'all. He's solid. Steering lock is all the way out. Y'all see that? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead on and plug all of this in the car and make sure it's unlocking. Once it unlocks, I'll go ahead on and install it on our steering column and then install our steering column and we should be able to start our vehicle. All right, y'all, so now I'm gonna start with connecting this here battery back up. And all I did was remove the ground. So I'm gonna put this ground wire back on our battery. 
All right, let's cross our fingers. Got my key right here. Y'all see I got everything else besides the key about the car. So I'm going to try to unlock it first. My dash lit up. Y'all see I got the ESL right here. And it's in a locked position. That's actually locked right there for the collar. So I'm going to put my key in there and see what happens. Let's cross our fingers, y'all. This is the moment of truth, baby. The moment of truth. So it did unlock it, but it's still saying take your key from the ignition. But it did unlock it. Let's just see if it'll start it. That might be because I don't have a lot of things plugged in. But it did try to start it. And I also have some things wet down there. But it did try to unstart it. So it's back in a locked position right now. So the motor is working. Let's try it again. As soon as I put it in, y'all see it, it did unlock it. We run it, baby. Yeah. We run it, baby. Mercedes on the road, baby. I don't know why it said remove it key from the ignition. But we all running. Let's turn them off. I'll let them run for a little while. Come back out and cut them off. Check out our steering lock. Uh, see it's unlocked. So that was our problem. We didn't fix our ESL. Uh, see that? You got him, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. So this is what I'm gonna do since it locks when I cut the car off. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start the car up, let it open. I'm gonna unplug it in open position, and I'll be able to install it back on the collar. So let's do that. Might not even need to start it, but. I heard it unlocked as soon as I put it in the dash still saying take your key from ignition. But she ready to start. The only reason why I got it installed in an open unlocked position, because y'all know I can't get that stud in there. Let me unplug it and see what it does. So I'm going to leave the key in there. And I'll just disconnect the battery. I'm going to try to just get this in. Plug it up. And um, you should be good, you should be good, you. And I did plug the airbags and all of that up. I'll leave the key up in there and try to get everything back connected. All right, gang. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install our ESL. It is on the Unlock position, as y'all can see, it's unlocked. So push him down in there. Okay, keep him in an unlocked position. Screw my bolt up in there. Tighten him back up. Now it is unlocked, but I did make some marks on my column so i can get them lined back up exactly where he needs to be so let's go ahead and get this thing installed y'all appreciate y'all for tuning in baby i hope i was able to help somebody out hope y'all learned something if so stay tuned i'm gonna show y'all how we get it installed and get this car back on the road gang. Mm -hmm.